Don't settle for bad socks. Get comfort and grip at an affordable price with Pure Grip Socks Pro. Choose from 18 different colors at puregripsocks.com. I'm gonna be honest. I don't think you should drop this one. Okay, that wasn't so bad. Inside this gigantic suitcase of a shoe box is Messi's football boots for his final World Cup. Or at least the version Adidas is making available to the public because as I talked about in a previous video, his boots are completely custom. As you can see, this giant box does come with a little handle to hold it. It's entirely gold in color. And then in kind of like a gloss finish, you have the number 10 Messi logo that's specific to these boots, his normal Messi M logo here on the top. And on the opposite side, you're gonna find the Adidas logo as well as the X logo. And then on the inside, get ready to be super disappointed it's literally just foam and the boots don't get me wrong the packaging is really cool but for a box this big call me crazy but i was just expecting a little more ladies and gentlemen the sold out 350 dollars limited edition adidas x speed portal point one Messi Leyanda, which of course translates to legend, and I'm sure there is not a single comment section on the internet that will agree on who the goat is, but I think we can all agree at the very least that Messi is in fact a legend. And this colorway for his final World Cup is just really cool. You know what else would be cool? Leaving a like on this video, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification so you don't miss out on my reviews of all the latest football boots of 2022. So with 2022 being Messi's fifth and final World Cup, his boots for this tournament pay tribute to the first World Cup he participated in back in 2006, specifically the boots that he wore, which was the F50.6 tunit, but not actually the tunit because you'll notice it says F30 here. That's because he actually wore an F30 variation with a different sole plate and a standard stud pattern rather than the screw in removable ones, as did quite a few pros at that time. Which is really cool to see Adidas acknowledge that with the F30 branding here on the right boot and then the F50 branding on the left boot. A detail that we actually saw last year with the El Retorno Adidas X Speed Flow Point 1, also a messy signature, paying tribute to the F30 0.7s that he wore back in 2007 when he scored that incredible goal that was almost an exact copy of one Maradona did years ago. So along with that F30 and F50 branding are of course the graphics from the 2006 generation of F50, which is featured on the medial side. And then on the lateral side, you have the normal three stripes of the Adidas brand that you would typically find on a speed portal other than their normal World Cup colorway, which of course has the stripes up the middle. Of course, the boots are gold, as I think is very fitting for a guy like Messi, especially in his final World Cup. White across the top, although it does have a little bit of a bluish tinge to it, more so in the actual prime knit than the laces, which are kind of more of a pure white. And then on the back of the heel, you're going to find the Messi logo, his number 10, as well as that graphic that's kind of hidden by this matte black area, but you can see the full logo here on the insole. If I pull that out, where you can see you have the number 10, as well as more graphics from the F50.6, or I should say F30.6. And then finally, the sole plate along with the external heel counter is in a metallic gold wearable finish with the Argentina blue studs in a translucent plastic. And of course, the visible carbon fiber from that sole plate kind of peeking through the little windows that they put in the plastic. As a collector's item, they are incredibly cool and honestly very fitting for Messi's final World Cup. I think Adidas did a great job with the way that these look. However, when it comes to the actual performance of the Speed Portal Point One, while I think they're overall very good football boots, I don't think they're anywhere near as good as their main competition from Nike in the Mercurial Vapor 15 or Superfly 9. If you'd like to learn a little bit more as to why I think that's the case, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen to my comparison where I cover absolutely everything that you need to know if you're on the market for a new pair of speed boots. So here they are on feet, looking incredible, but like I mentioned, definitely not my favorite boots in terms of fit or feel. I just feel like there's a little bit too much volume, a little bit too much width, a little bit too much bulk in the heel, and in general, the shaping of this football boot is just somewhat off in my opinion. Pair that up with an upper that is a little bit more plasticky feeling than I think it should feel, 
but of course the Carbitex insert in the sole plate, which is arguably one of the best technologies in football boots. It's definitely not that these are bad boots in general. They have a lot of good things going for them, but compared to the competition, and there are some great options, especially in the speed category right now, it's just one of those boots that wouldn't be my first choice. Nonetheless, in terms of width, they're going to be suitable for most people. They definitely have decent width to them, but if you do have excessively wide feet, you might have some struggles with putting them on and in general, just finding a comfortable fit because they do taper in the midfoot quite significantly. And then as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing these in my usual size 9.5 US and the fit and the length is perfect. So if you are looking to get a pair for yourself, obviously not in this colorway because it's sold out, I would strongly recommend going true to size. But there you have it guys, the Messi La Yanda 2022 World Cup Speed Portal Point One, his final World Cup football boots ever. Let me know your thoughts on them down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.